Good morning, my friends. Roger Mudfossil University. I have some amazing things to speak about today and some amazing developments in the research of gut health. Now, I put down here, oh, happy day, oh, happy day. Did you ever want something that was so far out of reach it was foolish to pursue it? A fool's mission, a pipe dream. I go on that mission every day, and some days it pays off. Now, I have recently become associated with a university that certifies bacteriologists to supervise the food supply using the latest DNA testing labs on site at these food service processing places uh, prior to shipping out the food. It only takes an hour to do this. It's very new stuff, breakthrough technology. And they contacted me to work with them, and I am so proud of that. I don't know what to say. Anyway, I got, we've been going back and forth quite a bit, and um, I got this from my friend there uh, at the university uh, today, well, yesterday, actually. Roger, I have a major genetic laboratory designing a human biome gut DNA test for me. Now, we've been talking about this, that I wanted this database of get gut bacteria, because I'm telling you, where do you see the, 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 the different things it affects? And, and some people are going to be very, very offended by this, but I'm saying some people are had mental illness, they don't realize it. Anyway, I, it's going to be offensive to some people. I'm sorry. That, I, I just, this is what it is, what it is. I'm going to say it and you see what you think. Okay. Anyway, the project requires subjects to submit samples, identification of specific bacteria, species living in the digestive system. After the test prepared, we need to submit samples to test our theory against the data sets. The next step would be examination with the su suggested probiotic therapies to determine optimal results. Keep going. So, we're working on this hard now. So, I also look into, because this was mostly for autism at this point, and really, it's... I, 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 after searching membrane invasion, it is everything. That's 100% of your issues. I'm telling you right now, you get that under control, they can say anything they want about all the other stuff, but I'm telling you, those are byproducts of gut invasion. And I'll show you, you'll see in a second. So anyway, I'm saying that we're also looking into mental issues, disease, schizophrenia, dementia, delusions. All of those are gut diseases. Watch. I'm saying almost all, as far as I'm concerned, 100% of diseases, if you can get your gut under control perfectly, I think they're all going to go away. And they, Harvard says, can gut bacteria improve your health 100%. What about this? Irritable bowel syndrome, obviously, because that's in your digestive system. Your digestive system is all screwed up. That's the killer. Uh, well, I, I put a whole batch of them down here. Here we go delusional disorder from cleavance. Now, this is something I, this is going to be offensive, but it's just true. <laughs> Flat Earth people have been attacking my research, which is valid. I never present anything without substance, without a material backup to it. And they say everything just isn't there, the space station isn't there. You know what that story is. They say the Earth is flat regardless whether we can see it. And So this is what's called delusion. So what is delusional disorder? Delusional disorder, previously called paranoid disorder, is a type of serious mental illness called a psychosis in which a person cannot tell what is real from what is imagined. Um, it goes, the main feature of this disorder is the presence of delusions which are unshakable beliefs in something untrue. Regardless of it's putting your face or not, you're just going to say, no, that's not true, it doesn't exist. And it says, people with delusional disorder experience non-bizarre delusions which involve situations that could occur in real life, such as being followed, poisoned, deceived, conspired against, or loved from a distance, or saying, the earth is... There's nothing out there because you haven't been to the space station, even though we have everything to prove that it's there. Now, these delusions usually involve the misinterpretation or perceptions of experiences. You just, you know, it's all eyeball-shaped things, so the Earth looks round, but it's not really round, and, you know, the water's flat. And I mean, just, this is all this misinterpretation, perceptions of experiences, totally totally ignoring the reality of it in a rational 
mind would say, that's just not real, sir. And they would say, no, you're not real. This is all fake. You're looking at things and, and you're thinking they're real, but they're not even there. It's all cartoons. So anyway, these delusions usually involve the misinterpretation of perceptions or experiences. In reality, however, the situations are either not true at all or highly exaggerated. Flat Earth, there you are right there. Now, now listen to this. Now, people with this delusional disorder often can continue to socialize and function quite normally apart from this subject of their delusion and generally do not behave in an obviously odd or bizarre manner. That's what caught me off guard. I helped all these people. I helped them and I said, come on, yeah, sure, let me show you how all this stuff works. Let's get the blood fossil. Then they turned on me because I would not except flat earth this is another symptom of this mental illness this is unlike people with other psychotic disorders also might have delusion as a symptom of their disorder in some cases however people with delusional disorder might become so preoccupied with their delusion that their lives are disrupted they attack everyone this is their problem. They're mentally ill with this. And I don't mean this in a derogatory manner. I mean it to take probiotics and see if you can get your gut under control. I'm telling you right now, you got something wrong. And I don't know. I would love flat earthers to respond. Do you have intestinal issues? Do you have digestive disorders? Every single one of these disorders is related to this. I mean, look, the, the um, dementia, dementia, schizophrenia from the gut. And of course, arthritis and undernutrition and lupus and um, Crohn's disease. And every single disease there is, is related to the gut. And I mean, seriously, and depression, suicide, 100%. So I took the flat earth attacks as as just vitriol against me and I reacted with equivalent vitriol and I am sorry All right? take please take my sincere apologies I honestly mean this because I'm not upset at people that have autism I'm not upset at people that have schizophrenia or dementia and it's, I mean, it's pretty obvious what you just saw, I read you about this delusional disorder. And it is, there's no question whatsoever if I show the people, I mean, even to discuss that the earth is flat. And to have to take that and, and then to hide from these people because they attacked me so bad, I actually had to close up three channels because, it, and then they try to steal the, all of my, when they have, they stole all of my research and put it into Flat Earth Community and they're trying to rebrand it as flat stuff. And they've really messed it up. They just they have no clue what they're doing. And some of them are well known and just making a mess out of things. So, because they're Flat Earthers and they don't want to discuss anything with anybody that won't talk their flatness. And it's, and it's a delusion that is, I believe, a mental, well, it's a mental illness. There's no question about that. Now, what is it caused by? Right? Because I go to the academics, too. They are just a 100% as bad as the flat earthers. They will not confront my DNA analysis tests, my specimens, the CAT scans, all the chemistry, the process has been done. There is no question whatsoever what I am presenting to them is accurate. They are taking your money and not looking into what they should look into. They're delusional. And in their case, it's I don't think it's a true delusion. It may be, but I think in their case, it's self-preservation. And so they don't really care which is fiduciary failure. So I'm going to leave it at that. I know I offended a lot of people right here. But I'm telling you, this is, not, this is an issue that is not normal. That is not rational behavior from flat earthers. Absolutely not. And from academia, it's, it's, it's fraudulent behavior in my mind because I don't think they're doing this because they're delusional. I think they know what they're doing. They're hiding from this because they have status and prestige and money and power and authority. And they have told our kids that they can't see God or think about God. And it's all creation business. It's all nonsense. And we now know that that is 
absolutely ridiculous what they've been teaching. Total nonsense. Now that we know about dragons and all of the things that exist on this earth that they will not confront. Giants, huge giants. Exactly what was written about. All this stuff was written about exactly what they laugh at and call you cult people for and refuse to allow it in their presence. All right, so that all has to change because that is either delusion or fraud. So either one, I don't care what it is, it's got to change. But I see that the, the world really has a lot, a lot of changes to do. And you can look at me and call me the fool, but I don't think that's the case. All right, God bless you.